Welcome back to the SMT YouTube channel. Folks, we got a really nice update for you here, a Verizon Network update. Something we've been waiting for, something we wanted to see, and that was CBRS band 48 moving over to NR to the 5G side for Verizon. You're not gonna see this from AT&T. You're not gonna see this from T-Mobile, so this is unique. I do understand, uh, and shout out to SpeedTech, uh, he brought it to my attention that one of the big cable operators, I don't know if it was Comcast or Spectrum, one of them is already broadcasting N48, and they do have licenses and um, and access to unlicensed Band 48. So they, I guess they've been doing it, and I'm not sure about the RAN provider. Uh, could be Samsung, could be Nokia, um, but I don't think it's I don't think they have deals with Ericsson. Maybe they do. I don't know. But um. So they've been broadcasting in 40, but we've been waiting for Verizon to do this. Shout out to Nikki T over on the X platform. He posted images of screenshots uh, of, of the connection log showing N48 is active for Verizon. And he also posted a picture of the actual site with the gear so we could take a look at it and then a speed test so we can kind of see what it does. So if you look at the con uh, collection log here on the right hand side, you will see N77, so that's your 3700 frequency, the C-band. You'll see a 100 megahertz channel. And then below it, you will see the additional, the second 60 megahertz channel of N77. So that's 160 megahertz, 5G ultra wideband, the C-band piece. And then you will see there is an additional carrier aggregation of, I, I, I think it's just 40 megahertz of N48. Now this one, this is interesting because, you know, typically what we see is N48 in the 10 megahertz sub blocks, right? So you'll see like, uh, or or what I see in my market is 20 megahertz sub blocks as, as a connection log. It's technically 10. So um, that's how the FCC has it broken up. So sometimes you'll see like 80 megahertz of, of band 48 for Verizon and LTE. Sometimes you'll see... 70 sometimes you'll see 60 i've seen 40 and it just kind of depends they they use both licensed and unlicensed versions of band 48 now we've got it live on 5g on nr because you'll see it it says it it says n48 it's highlighted you'll see 40 megahertz of bandwidth so this tells me that it's just their licensed spectrum that they're using here in this market which i think he said it was chatham new jersey i believe so We've got this big network update. Now, the thing I would want to know, and I'm going to probably test it to see or ask him to do it, is lock in N5 on standalone 5G. Lock in the N48 on standalone 5G and see if it shows 5G ultra wideband or if it shows 5G nationwide. If it's 5G ultra wideband, we know that the experience is going to be great because it's, you know, it's, it's a different data experience. They don't throttle the video playback. You know, they're not going to be as restrictive with it. And you guys will see in the uh, in the in the speed test, 2.3 gigs down, 196 on the up. That uplink, um, I mean, it's really good, but unfortunately, band 48 and 48 does not support uplink. It's only on the downlink side, so, so it's kind of a restriction for now. And that could change in the future. We're kind of hoping that it does. But you'll see that the additional bandwidth really does help the downlink side. And you've got the picture of the gear right there. You'll see the N77 on the left hand side and you'll see the band 48 on the right hand side this is samsung radio gear for those of you that are curious um and you know it's pretty good performance uh if, if you didn't have the n48 active here i'm guessing you'd probably be closer to you know like a gig and a half on um maybe 1.5 gigs per second for downlink maybe 1.6 1.7 so it's it's giving additional throughput to help boost the downlink side, which is nice. Excited to see this go to the uplink side at some point, hopefully. Maybe power level's getting turned up, and who knows, maybe in the future Verizon will retune these sites to do the additional bandwidth up to maybe 7 or 80 megahertz. I forget if it's... I think I think it's up to 80 megahertz. I think I've seen that. So that could, that could be... I mean, who knows? You know, maybe it pushes closer to 3 gigs per second, you know, for downlink speed. Anyways, big update. Thanks, Nikki, for sharing this. And we'll be sure to update you guys as we get more information and stuff happening in the wild as these networks just get faster and faster. The Verizon network's not done, people. 
there is there's more 5g speed and capacity coming especially if, as they move lt bandwidth over to 5g but let me know your thoughts and opinions on this and let me know if you've been seeing any of this in your markets uh and shout out to nikki t and uh, speed tech for contributing and giving us some of the information on what's going on out there but thanks for watching like share subscribe drop us your comments uh questions and concerns are welcome we'll see you guys soon on the next one